Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Solid Edge 2D drafting training for the free Solid Edge draft application. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This first preview is part of the introduction session and shows some of the ways of customising the interface. At the very top of the screen above the command ribbons is a quick access toolbar. This toolbar can be customised very easily by selecting the drop down arrow to its right hand end. Firstly there is a list of common commands that can be added by checking the appropriate options. For example we could add the print and file open commands. If we pick the More Commands option, we have the ability to choose any command from any category. We'll pick the Drawing category, then the Line command, and add it. Another easy way to add commands is directly from the ribbon itself. For instance, we could navigate to the View ribbon, then right-click on the Switch Windows command, and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Removing commands from the Quick Access Toolbar is achieved by right-clicking and choosing the Remove option in the context menu. It is possible to display the toolbar directly below the command ribbon by choosing the Show Below Ribbon option from its drop-down menu. This positions the toolbar right above the graphics area and minimises the cursor travel required to get to any of the commands that have been added to it. The command bar, which by default is docked to the upper left-hand side of the graphics area, displays the options for the current command. We can see this here as we pick the Detail View command. At the same time, the Prompt bar, which is docked at the bottom of the screen, shows the instructions for the current command. Towards the lower left area of the graphics window, there is a group of tabs in what are known as docking panes. This includes a library window, groups, layers and query. These individual tabs are covered in more detail in other training sessions. It is very easy to customise certain areas of the interface. For instance, the command bar, pathfinder and prompt bar can all be moved around simply by using a drag and drop method. During this process, blue docking stickers will appear to show valid locations for the window being moved. We can see this here as we left click and drag the lower left docking pane and drop it on the right hand docking sticker. Before letting go of the mouse button, a ghosted preview is shown. 